in the doldrums of an endlessly gray town, where every building seemed to be a shade of monotonous despair. There lived a person whose heart beat to the rhythm of a different drum, a rhythm they'd long since been forced to mute. Jamie's life was a series of neatly arranged dominoes, each day toppling into the next with the same predictable fall. Work, eat, sleep, repeat. It was a life devoid of color, of music, of freedom. And every night, Jamie dreamt of wide open skies and paths leading to the unknown. The dreams began to change, however. Whispered voices called out, beckoning Jamie to an ancient path known only in hushed legends as Heaven's Trail. It was said that those who walked its winding course were never seen again, not in the way they once were. Some claimed they found their deepest desires at the end, while others warned of a prison with no bars. A place where souls became entwined in eternal thorns of regret. One evening, as the sun dipped below the horizon and painted the sky with its fleeting promise of beauty, Jamie found themselves standing before the edge of the woods where the town's whispers had always said, Heaven's Trail began. A narrow, overgrown path stretched before them, disappearing into the thickening trees and encroaching darkness. The air was cool, the kind of cool that seeped into bones and the spaces between thoughts. Taking a deep breath, Jamie stepped onto the path, the brambles scratching at their jeans like hands, desperate to warn, to hold back. But Jamie's need for something more, something beyond the life they knew, was too strong. The first steps were taken, and with them, the journey into an unknown that whispered of freedom and screamed of shadows began. As the world behind them fell away, the forest seemed to close in, the trees bending to form a vault above the trail. A mist began to rise, swirling around Jamie's feet, each step forward feeling heavier than the last. The whispers grew louder a cacophony of voices that seemed at once to urge them on and to mourn their progression. It wasn't long before Jamie realized the path didn't seem to remember the concept of time. Hours could have passed, or perhaps minutes, when they came upon a clearing. In the heart of this opening stood a lone, ancient tree, its limbs reaching skyward like gnarled fingers grasping for salvation. Hanging from the branches were hundreds of keys, each one glinting in the ghostly light that seemed to emanate from nowhere. With a sense of dread and wonder, Jamie understood that each key represented a life, a soul that had traversed Heaven's Trail in search of the escape. And there, among the metallic choros of dangling keys, one key caught their eye, its bow shaped like the guider they had once loved and given up in exchange for a life of security, a life devoid of passion. Reaching out, Jamie grasped the key, and the forest fell silent. The silence was a void, pressing against Jamie's ears, suffocating. Then, without warning, the ground beneath them gave way, and they were falling through darkness the key clenched tightly in their fist. When they landed, it was not on the soft earth of the forest, but on the hard, cold reality of a place that was both alien and eerily familiar. This new world was a twisted reflection of their own, where the gray buildings of the town loomed taller, their shadows deeper and more sinister. The people were there, too, but their eyes were hollow, their movements mechanical. Jamie watched as these specters of friends and family marched in a never-ending circle, trapped in a loop of existence that offered no deviation, no hope. In this dark mirror, Jamie saw the truth of what their life could become, a never-ending cycle of conformity, unless they dared to break free. But freedom, Jamie realized, was not a destination. It was a battle. 
the key in their hand began to warm, to burn, until they could no longer hold it. It dropped to the ground, and from the place it touched, a blaze of light erupted, cutting through the darkness, tearing through the fabric of this nightmare. The path back to their world was open, but Jamie knew that simply returning was not enough. They had to change, to fight for the life they truly wanted, or risk being consumed by the very thing they sought to escape. With the light of the key as their guide, Jamie ran back towards the path, the voices of the forest now cheering, urging them forward. They emerged from the woods, just as the first rays of dawn kissed the horizon, the colors of the morning painting, the world anew. The journey on Heaven's Trail had ended, but for Jamie, the true journey was just beginning. They returned to the world with eyes wide open, the key to their passion reignited, and the courage to live a life unbound by fear or expectation. And somewhere, deep within the forest, a key stopped glowing, its purpose fulfilled, as a new one took its place among the branches, waiting for the next soul brave enough to walk Heaven's Trail. The days that followed were a blur for Jamie. Work, once a monotonous drone, was now filled with a strange energy. Every report they filed, every meeting they attended, the image of the key burned in the back of their mind, a symbol of something more, something almost touched. But as the days turned to weeks, the power of the key's light began to fade in memory. The whispers of the forest were drowned out by the cacophony of daily life, and Jamie's dreams of open skies and untrodden paths were once again just dreams. That was until the night the storm came. Lightning forked the sky, thunder shook the walls of Jamie's home, and the wind howled with a ferocity that spoke of unbridled freedom. It was then amidst the chaos of the tempest, that Jamie heard it, the unmistakable jingle of keys, like a call to return. Compelled by a force they couldn't understand, Jamie found themselves once again at the forest's edge, where the path to heaven's trail awaited, its entrance marked by a new key hanging from the archway of intertwining branches. This key bathed in the electric light of the storm, seemed to pulse with life. This time, Jamie did not hesitate. The forest welcomed them like an old friend, the path clear, the mist a guiding hand at their backs. The journey was quicker now, the clearing with the ancient tree appearing as though it had been expecting them. The tree, now a sentinel in the storm, was alive with the sound of keys clashing in the wind. Jamie reached for the new key, the storm's energy coursing through it, into them, and as they touched it, the world went silent. When the silence lifted, Jamie was no longer in the forest. They were in the heart of the town, but not the one they knew. This was a place out of time, buildings twisted into impossible shapes, the sky a vortex of swirling colors. The people here were different, too. They moved with purpose, with joy, their eyes bright with the light of stars, not the hollow emptiness of before. Jamie realized then that Heaven's Trail had shown them not one, but two futures, one a warning, the other a promise. The key was the choice, the power to unlock the chains of fate and forge a new path. As they walked through this otherworldly town, the key grew warm in their hand, its glow reflecting in the eyes of those they passed. They smiled at Jamie, nods of encouragement and understanding passing between them. The storm had followed Jamie into this place, but here it was, not a destructive force. It was the very beat of life itself, the rhythm of change, of growth, of freedom. Above the town 
where the vortex in the sky spun with wild abandon. Jamie saw the open skies from their dreams, calling them to a future of their own making. With a newfound resolve, Jamie stepped forward, ready to embrace the promise of Heaven's Trail, to live a life of their choosing. As they did, the key dissolved into a shower of sparks, its light spreading through the town, through Jamie, and into the sky above. And so, our story ends, not with a conclusion, but with a beginning. For Jamie, and for all who walk Heaven's Trail, there is no way out, because the trail does not trap, it liberates. It is the journey of the soul, to the place where dreams and reality meet, where the key to our chains is in our hands, and the path to freedom is the one we make.